What is up, Yam Squad? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. Hey, shoddy. Be for real. You didn't want your boy <laughs> when I was down. Now I got out the mud, made out the trenches, and oh I Oh my god, bro. Look at me now. <laughs> I glue up. What you talking about? <laughs> Uh, glow up. You're still in mom's basement and you glue up, bro. That shit is funny, bro. Confidence. I have to give it to this guy. Confidence. If you have enough confidence, at the end of the day, I can tell you this. That's going to attract so many people to you. Why are you popping bottles? Mm -hmm. What you celebrating for? Mm -hmm. What you going out this weekend for? You ain't complete nothing this week. You ain't made no money this week. You ain't complete no tasks. You ain't, ain't knocked off no goals. You outside. You <sighs> going to kick it with your friends. You going to get drunk. Sit your ass in the house. Mm -hmm. You ain't did nothing. Nothing to celebrate. What the hell is we celebrating you outside for? What you mm. outside? Oh, we gotta live life though. Life isn't promised. What the fuck? You gonna mm. say that for how many years? How many, yeah. how many How many? years you gonna say that? You motherfucker, 30 years old, you still saying the same shit, life ain't promised. I thought about this so many times, people which celebrate nothing. Every weekend they're out. Hey, it's the weekend, let's go out and... I'm like, shit. It's the weekend, you haven't done anything, but you still wanna go out, you still wanna party. So those are vices which keeps you broke. I've banana peel on the ground. I'm gonna see if it's really slippery like it is in the cartoon. Ooh, how old are you? 31. And your, your ex husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. Okay. And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Okay. okay. Great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer and that changed him and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. <sighs> she left is her he husband. In remission. Mm. Yes, he is. Yeah. And who filed for divorce? Yeah. I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. Listen, she says financially abusive. Think of this. She, she was with the guy this whole time. Everything was fine. But all of a sudden, when he gets cancer, when the guy's fighting for his life, that's when you decide to leave him. So for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53-year-old. And he took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You chose. But you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock it out. I'm going to be honest, ma'am. This is a whole mess. Let it go back to your husband. That's all you got. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. That's a huge bitch. Goodbye. Yeah. I don't have a boyfriend and I don't want it. And if I want one, I could have four or five of them if I want. But I don't want to associate with nobody. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Ah, Jesus. The price is wrong, It's a bitch. bad idea. Y'all niggas out here buying these bitches colorings and all that. Y'all just push your grandma to the back. My grandma is, ah, my grandma house 1.6 or some shit like that, 1.7. I'm pushing up. And motherfuckers, she called me every day after I bought that house. Thank you, I love you so much. It made my heart get warm. Meek is 100% right. Instead of giving, throwing away your money, just throwing it away, just on her like, you know, you could just say, no, guess what? I'm investing my family. I'm investing the people which are actually going to be there for me when shit happens. Hey, everyone. I wanted to just give a little bit of a life update on kind of what's going on with me. What the now, fuck is my that? Family I'm being evicted from my house now. Yeah, immediately, but what we'll, we'll, we'll allow you to do is get an overnight bag. All right, so right. We'll, we'll go inside so you can get some of your things. I have to leave with you. Oh, my God, no, bro. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you is, I have to leave right now. Correct. Yep. So you can go inside, gather up some of your things. We allow you that courtesy. And do you have your car here? Mm -hmm. I do. I do. And then on your own accord, you can leave here, okay? So you're going to leave and I can leave after you leave? I just have to leave. We're going to leave. No, we're going to leave with you. We're going to leave together. You, okay. you definitely have to leave today, okay? Got gotcha. you. Listen, learn from the mistakes of others. I'm watching this guy right now and I'm just thinking, bro, you should, you should always have a silver bullet. Doesn't mean that you're going to have to use it. Maybe you never have to use it, but always have a silver bullet because you never know. She stabbed him in his back. Guess what? That's how it is. That's how, like, bro, I'm looking at the guy, I feel sorry for him, but it's your own fault. You did not prepare yourself for this situation. So what we'll do now. Inside. Mm -hmm. You need this back? What's that? Look this. at that, bro. 
Nope, that's you. This is me. Yep. This is me. That's officer, and that's officer. Can I see your eyes, please? Is that okay? All right. My wife filed a false abuse claim against me in order to initiate a divorce, mm -hmm. in order to get an advantage over the property that we have. Out of nowhere, she just filed yeah. a false abuse Look at that, claim bro. against me and had me evicted from the house. Look at that, bro. Women in particular who do this to men are criminals. They are dangerous. They are criminals. My understanding now is that this is a strategy that many women mm. will employ. If it comes to them, if it's you or them, it's always going to be them. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, you can love a woman, but always sleep with one eye open. This guy, it's his own fault. At the end of the day, yes, you can say, oh, I loved her, this and that. No one's going to care. If he it was vice versa and he went to tell the police that his wife was beating him, no one would care. People are just like, yeah, sure, yeah, your wife is beating you. What? Go back home. Or they will laugh at him. So yeah, there's a double standard. And with that double standard, you have to be very nice nowadays because people can make shit up about you. And think of this, Russell Brand, all this. A reputation which you have worked your whole life with just like that can be taken away. Just like that. Just because people don't like you. So be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> Skippy, where do you live? Uh, okay, you live in the United States? Mm. Yes. Okay, do you have running water? Yes. You have electricity? Mm -hmm. You have food in the fridge? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got nothing to be depressed about. Oh. There's children right now that don't even have clothes, that mm -hmm. don't have food, that don't have anything. Only in the West do we have this notion that, oh man, it's mm. so tough. Oh my I disagree. God, I'm sad. I don't know how I feel. The problem is this. You're looking at what you don't have instead of looking at what you do have. Yes. And you're making excuses for your inadequacies, okay? All I hear is wham, 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 fucking wham, bro. And the thing is, is that you've gotten away with doing this for your entire adult life because no one's told you the truth. Mm, tough love is something that's very important. And I watch a lot of these YouTube channels and like uh, Fresh and Fit. I really like the content that they do. But here I disagree with Myron because I think you need both the feminine energy and the masculine energy. I think that Myron is, yes, 50% right here where he says you have to toughen up. And, you know, a lot of guys in the manosphere, that is, you know, the, the philosophy. Yes, you have to be stoic and you have to be a man at the end of the day. But that's just 50% of it. I think, yes, we should also focus on when, you, when you're not feeling that good, maybe you should go to therapy. Maybe you should talk to somebody. Maybe like... The problem which we have nowadays is just like, bro, we internalize everything. And every single guy is supposed to be a stoic. You're not supposed to talk about your feelings. You're not. A, I get it. You know, if you're listening to that, you get it. But bro, sometimes like sitting with one of my best friends, right? We sit and we talk about our relationships and we, we have that conversation, right? And he has cried in front of me and I've been... You know, I've cried in front of, uh, I don't know if I, yeah, I've cried in front of him, you know, this was a long time ago uh, when I was going through something, you know, like, but at the end of the day, you need that also. You need that from your friends because, bro, being super tough and everything, so you, because you're not, just because you're not starving doesn't mean that you, bro, yes, but I get it. Just because you're not starving and just because you're you're not that little kid in Africa and just because life isn't like super horrible, it doesn't mean that your feelings do not matter. Your feelings matter. If you don't know what this is, you need a Latina mommy in your life, you feel me? Those are empanadas. Don't fall for it, boys. That's how they trap you. Coming! Food! They get you with that food, bruh. Oh my god, I'm a sucker for that shit, bruh. I know a fake man who got money living life yeah i know good girls who have become a side chick with broken hearts because of a girl mm. i know hoes that got wifed i know a man who served Sick. serious time in the jail and never spoke a word on his friends and they got forgotten mm. i know snitches that are still rated by the Oof. way you don't have to be street to be real right. i know legit people that are realer than trappers and gangbangers yeah i've seen i've seen the fake get praised and the real get slept mm. on there's no love no respect and no morals anymore the game has changed game has changed that's the bible Who wrote that? yeah that? that's 
That's a road. I don't think that the game has changed. I think this is the way it has always been. People are just sometimes ruthless. I've learned this, right? Even when I moved here, bro, there's some people in this town which are just super ruthless. You save yourself first, bro. I've always said this, you know? Sometimes people are like, oh, if somebody's drowning, I'd risk my life to, no, bro, I'm not doing that. I'm not risking my life for a person which doesn't give a damn about me. If I died tomorrow, do you think people would care? Of course not. Girls. Make sure your vibrator oh. and your taser are different colors. I read a study where they say the reason why most women don't get like orgasms right now is because they're using too many vibrators and like they they destroy the vibration down there. So if you're a girl, it's better to have a boyfriend than to be doing all of that. Hey! Ew! Ooh. You got Linda from Tinder? Mm. Linda from Tinder. Do a 360 for me real quick. Yeah. If you want to see if you're a brave person, what they call the four o'clock in the morning courage, wait when things go completely to mm. pieces, when things are the worst, when your very best deal falls apart, yeah. when your rent is late, and you're tired, and you're sick, and everybody's mad at you, and your car doesn't work, then it's the person that picks themselves up and says nothing is going to stop me. Uh. And what do you like about him? Everything. He's really? really polite. He's honestly, he's he's like the realest person I've ever met. Even though he's doing all Catch this shit falls, like we're down. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> but like on some real shit, like he really cares for me and he's really a good person. She is a big girl and that's why I say like some people like big girls. I specifically whew, wouldn't be caught even around a big girl. Every single addict I met is an extremely emotional person. And when I say emotional, I mean the kind of people who jump around in nightclubs and are extremely happy. No stoicism. You see these people in the club, yeah, the club, Britney Spears, Rihanna, yeah, that. Morons. I could win a hundred million dollars and I wouldn't scream like that. And these people are screaming because Rihanna's on a stage 40 meters that way. Wonder the world's fucked. Extremely happy over dumb shit. Get angry or sad very quickly or for no real reason control their temper, always talking about the past. Oh, why are you drinking? Oh man, you don't understand my life back in 2008, man, blah, 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 blah. Crying about the past. They live in the past and they're highly emotional people and they have no emotional control. He's a controversial figure, but he's right when he says that happiness is something which you have to work hard for. And bruh, some people, you know, they, they're living in the past and living in the past is not a good thing because then you can't you know, open up for the future. You can't bring in the new things which are supposed to, to happen. I can say this, right? Yesterday, I took uh, a girl which I really liked out, right? And the thing is like, what, we've been on and off again for a while. You know, I've been traveling. I haven't really had the time to spend with her. But then I thought to myself like, hey, you really like this girl. Maybe you should sit down with her and, you know, like, take her out so I took her out we had a great time a phenomenal time right and so we're hanging out and she's like you know I, I really had a good time tonight but I need to be honest about something something which I've been thinking about you know I started seeing this guy and there is where I bro like I felt it I was like bro I like this girl and I'm you know <sighs> but guess what then is when I was stoic and that's when I said, yes, I understand. Uh, hey, he's probably a good guy and there's a reason why you want to be with him. I'm going to take you home and I hope you have a good night. So I took her home, gave her a hug. Hey, and I'm not going to text her. I'm not going to, because guess what? At the end of the day, maybe he has something that I don't have. Maybe she's, she wants time right now and I can't, I can't give her time. So... What am I going to do? What I can't do that, right? So at the end of the day, sometimes, bro, sometimes you just got to let things go. You can't, oh my God, I got to, no, you can't try to control people. You can't try because the people which are supposed to be in your life, guess what? They'll be there. But anyway, guys, like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay golden, stay masculine. Peace.